Welcome back, it's Back to the Basics. I'm Sean Barr, and today we are talking about MX Records. Let's go get some email, let's go! All right, we're back and we are talking DNS records, specifically MX records for a male record. So what is an MX record? Well, it is a record in your DNS server that points people on the internet how to reach your mail server. That's, a, that's really it. So when I type an email address in, sean at xyz.com, it's gonna go to xyz.com and say, where is the mail server for xyz.com? and it's gonna give back an IP address, that's gonna tell your mail server what IP address to connect to so it can deliver mail to your inbox. And everything's good after that. So there's a couple of things additional to the just the record itself. There's also a priority. So a lot of servers today or email services today need multiple mail servers, maybe in a couple different locations. Maybe you have an East Coast mail server and a West Coast mail server, and you, you you can differentiate which one you would like mail to go to by default through a priority. And additionally, you have some redundancy that if that one's unavailable, it will fail over to the next one. So why is that important? Well, email is a pretty critical business communication tool or just a personal communication tool in this day and age. So you really don't want to lose connectivity to mail. So having priority allows you to define two servers maybe in different physical locations that allow uh, if something failed or you had an outage, those types of things, the mail would still flow through to your mobile device. So what are some things that you could do? Why is it important um, for you to know as a technical person? Well, if you're troubleshooting, let's say, email to a particular person, you could go into NS Lookup, it's a tool, and look up an MS record type for that domain get the IP address and do some troubleshooting with it. So you can go query a DNS server and you can get the information about that MX record. Um, that way you can troubleshoot maybe a mail issue. So understanding these types of records is gonna be really important as you move into troubleshooting. If I said anything in this video that you go, hey, I'd love to know more about that particular thing, make sure you leave a comment, like, subscribe, and we will see you on the next Back to the Basics. Thanks for watching.